uh, day one vlog of Sandman out with the kids. You know what I'm saying? About to go do some things. But I'm getting ready. Definitely getting ready for this 1v1. Not too much to get ready for because it's not like I'm going against someone that's actually good. You know, but uh, I figure I'll give y'all some type of vlog. Yeah, some type of vlog to where I can, you know, bring on my day. You know, I'm not really doing too much. We're about to get ready to head on over to the basketball court and shoot around a little bit, you know. I think it's a double run out there too. I'm not too sure. I don't know, but other than that, you know, I just hope everyone is having a beautiful day today, you know, because today is Tuesday, and that means we literally have three days left until I hop on that plane to Memphis. What made you start playing basketball? I know this gonna I know this gonna sound crazy because of what I'm wearing, but Kobe Bryant, man, rest in peace. I used to look at him. I'm a big Lakers fan, you know. Even though I'm not rocking my Lakers shorts, I'm rocking the Chicago Bulls, you know, only because of the go of my my Ray Elevens, because you know it's hard to match the Lakers. You can't match it, you know. But other than that, Kobe Bryant, man, I, I used to look up to him, wanted to be like him, you know, be in the classroom with little with little paper pack. Kobe, you know what I'm saying? Man? Everybody, everybody did that, you know, once in a lifetime. But yeah, Kobe, every kid does. But I never took it serious, you know. I never took it serious, and I don't know. It's just some things you just don't look at in your future until you grow up, and you know, you're like, damn. I don't know. It's just some things you don't look at. Ooh. Ooh. My name is Mario Choice. Texas University, where I graduated from, became a pro ball, played for Chicago Bulls. I'm 6'4, 225 pounds. Pull up. Swish. I got some questions in my DMs that some people want me to answer. The first one is, how do you feel? I feel good. Um, if you asking the question based off of the 1v1 that I'm going against Trey, I feel good, you know? It's like, I've been getting in shape, not because of Trey, but because of the coronavirus. And it's like, everything that's been going on with this coronavirus, from March until May showed me that you need to get out there and work out. If it's running, walking, you just need to get out there. You know what I'm saying? Because, boy, when I played my first 2v2 against my boy Flo and his cousin, I was out of shape. I was exhausted. I was exhausted. So, how do I feel now? I feel good. I've been working out, been running, been playing basketball. So, am I ready for the 1v1? Hell yeah. Um, the next question is, what do you think the outcome going to be? I guess they're talking about the 1v1 in Memphis. The outcome is going to be great for me because a lot of people from the DMV and outside the DMV is rooting for me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm rooting for myself. You know, I know a lot of people is going to have their... Oh well, Sandman, you still trash or Sandman, what do you, what do you expect? Trey Flocker don't play basketball, so you should have won. I know I'm gonna get a lot of those, you know. And if I lose, I'm gonna get a lot of Sandman, you're trash. So either way, if I win or lose, I'm still gonna hear it. You know what I'm saying? I'm still gonna hear it. You gotta understand this, people. People go through things in life. Many of your haters, they go through things in life, and when they're upset 
and they don't know how to deal with their, their issues or talk to someone about it or a family member, they like to go and put other people down. You know what I'm saying? If you understand what I'm saying? They like to go to put other people down and try to bring them down and, and make them frustrated. Well, they try to frustrate them and put them on their level, you know? Yeah, I can't put me on y'all level. I mean, I'm always be up there. I'm always be a thousand and one feet, thousand and one, whatever you want to call it, ahead of you, you know? So, understand this, people. Understand this. Understand this. The outcome going to be great. I'm going to go down there, have some fun, play against Trey, um, beat him, and then we got some other things going on. But that's pretty much all the questions that I'm going to answer. Cause right, with all that being said, I answered the questions. And if y'all want me to answer questions in the future, drop in the comments. I do a Q&A. Whatever y'all want to ask me. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't nothing crazy, I answer it. You know, y'all can just drop in the comments and let me know if y'all be interested in seeing a video like that. But as far as that, that was pretty much my day, man. I literally went to go shoot around a little bit, you know. Just bring y'all on bring y'all on my trip, you know. So and that court I was shooting on, that's a double rim. That's a double rim. So I hope Trey can shoot on a double rim court because people that actually ball. You no know, double rims is hard to shoot on, and they hate double rims. You know what I'm saying? See me, it don't matter to me. I'm gonna go crazy, but I just hope Trey can dribble because we all seen in the video how he was dribbling. It's a carry. You know what I'm saying? So the man said he can dribble. The man said he faster than me. The man said this and that. But y'all seen the video? Y'all see what he can do? Y'all see what he can do? crazy but hey other than that man i appreciate all the love support shout out to all the people that's rooting for me shout out to all my dmv people man because i put y'all on my back you know what i'm saying i'm putting y'all on my back all right and i'm just gonna do this i'm just gonna do this not only am i gonna come back with a win but i'm gonna come back i'm a dog i don't even know if i even want him to score I'm still thinking about that. I'm still thinking if I should let him at least get like one or two points. You know what I'm saying? But I don't even want him to score. It's personal. It's not going to be no 10 minute video. I'm going to make sure it's a good three, four minutes. At least a good three, four minutes. But other than that, hey, the next time y'all see me pick up a basketball, it's going to be when I'm in Memphis. Until next time, make sure y'all like, drop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this 1v1 video and let me know who you think and who you got. No matter if Trey is your favorite YouTuber or Sam is your favorite YouTuber. I mean favorite YouTuber. Who do you got realistic on winning this match? Drop in the comments. And like I said, if y'all want me to do a Q&A, drop that in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram, ask me some questions, and I got you. Until next time. Win it! Yeah. Win it.